Oh, you guys snuck up on me there. Welcome back, kindergarten. I'm Mr. Mariani, and this is Art with Mr. Mariani. In today's lesson, we're going to learn a new word called scale. Do you guys know what that word means? Hmm. I think I've heard the word scale before. I think this is a scale. Is this a scale? It is a scale, but it's not the scale we're going to be talking about today in art. So we're gonna work really hard on learning what artists think the word scale means. Also in today's video, we're gonna get to meet Mr. Mariani's dog named Buckley. Let's get started. In art, when we talk about scale, we're talking about size, big, medium, and small. So let's take a look at some scale. I have a fork. This is kind of a normal size fork I would eat with. Maybe I'd eat some pasta. Now this, this scale is a little bit too big. Could I eat with this? Oh, I'd make such a big mess. So scale, we have a, a regular size and a large size. Let's look at scales of a Sharpie. A Sharpie is a permanent marker that we use a lot in art. This is a normal size one. This one's a big one. So these have two different scales, big and a normal size. Now let's look at the elephant. Now, this is not a real elephant, and we know that because the scale is way too small. If it was a big elephant, I wouldn't be able to fit it even in my room. So I'm happy that this scale is too small. Now, when we're gonna be drawing, we're gonna be talking a little bit about using scale. So let's go ahead and get started. This is my dog, Buckley. Can you say hi, Buckley? <laughs> Buckley's a medium-sized dog, which means that when I go to draw him, I gotta think about that scale. I don't want his head to be real big, and I don't want his legs to be too small. I want him to be just right. Let's see if we can get his ball here. Buckley really likes this ball. Watch. Got it. In this lesson, you're going to need a pencil. You're going to need a paper. And that's all you're going to need. So let's go ahead and get started. I got my paper. Now remember, we talked about having it portrait or landscape. Today, I'm just going to start with landscape. And I got my pencil. Now, if I was going to draw Buckley, I know that my dog has a nose, he's got two eyes, he's got his mouth, his head, two ears. Now, if I was going to make Buckley and I was gonna make his paws so big, Is this the right scale? <laughs> no, Mr. Mariani. He can't have the paws that big and his head so small. So I have to fix my scale. Now remember when we talked about scale, we mean big, medium, and small. So if my head is small, my body should be small. If my head is big, my body should be big. So let's try drawing Buckley again. That's more like it. My scale is all the right size. So now let's look at artists that sometimes use scale that, to make things look funny. Those are called cartoonists. And cartoonists sometimes make a head look really big and a body look really small. So let's try that with Buckley. That looks so silly. It's a cartoon dog. His head is really big and his body is really small. Let's draw a dog together using the correct scale. So start by making a upside down triangle. So if my was like this, that would be my triangle, flip it upside down. 
then make the letter J and a backwards letter J. Then I'm going to put one circle on one side and one circle on the other side. And we know that's symmetry. One circle on one side, one circle on the other side equals symmetry. Then I'm gonna make a line in the middle, right above my eyes. And I'm gonna make a triangle and a triangle. Then I'm gonna go down to where my J's were. Now what I'm going to do is I can put a little letter U and put a tongue. If he's thirsty or he's happy, sometimes dogs stick their tongue out. Then I'm gonna make a straight line down and a straight line down. Put a little bump at the bottom, bump at the bottom. Straight line up, straight line up. I can put little lines in here for my paws. Then I'm gonna make a line that comes out a little bit and a line that comes out a little bit. And this is still symmetry because I have one on each side, one on the other side. And put some paws on there, put a line right there and a tail. Now my scale is all correct because my head and my body are all around the same size. Now, if I wanna put a flower next to my dog and I want it to have the right scale, I know that my dog is not smaller than a flower. I know a flower is smaller than my dog. So I can put a little flower, I'll put a little sunflower. Next to my dog. How many different things can you put next to your dog and keep the right scale? All right, boys and girls, let's see what you guys can do now.